Hello, friends. Welcome to the Wake Up With Gratitude podcast. I'm your host, Julie Boye, and today we are celebrating the last of the 30 ways to practice gratitude in the month of November. I want to say thank you for joining me for these last 30 days. This is the first time I have given myself the challenge to post a podcast every single day, and it wasn't without its difficulties, and I'm so glad we've made it to the end together. If you're here for the first time, I invite you to go back to the first day of November and listen into these episodes. Each episode is only about five minutes long, and it gives you a different way to practice gratitude every day. I won't be here every day going forward. I will, however, continue to post new episodes of the podcast on a regular basis, including my longer form interviews. If you'd like to follow along, simply click on subscribe or follow on whatever podcast app you're listening to. Did you know that it's easy to rate the podcast if you're listening on Spotify? Simply visit the podcast homepage on Spotify and you can click the rate button. It's easy to give five stars without having to write a detailed reason why. If you're listening on Apple Podcasts, you can rate the podcast as well, and it's easy to leave a comment on how this podcast has made a difference for you. I read all your comments, and I do appreciate the time you take to write them. Thank you so much for your encouragement. Doing 30 solo podcasting episodes is not for the faint of heart. It's me talking into a microphone in front of my computer and wondering if you're listening and if these episodes are having an impact or not. When you take a moment to leave a review or a rating, by giving the podcast a rating or a comment, it helps others to find it and gives me some encouragement as I'm going along this journey. Would I do 30 days of podcasting every day again? I'm not sure that I would. But I'm so glad that I did. And today, what I'm going to do is share with you a review of the last 30 days. I'm going to encourage you to choose one or two things from this episode or an episode that you listened to earlier this month and continue with those practices long beyond this podcast episode. Check back in tomorrow as I'm sharing a full-length interview episode with Terry Kerr of The Unstuck Duck. She shares a personal year-long gratitude journey with us, and it's inspiring to hear other people share how gratitude has impacted their lives. Let's get into a review of the past 30 days. If you want more details on any particular practice, you can check back for the full episode. The day of the practice corresponds with the number on my list. So the first thing is to wake up with gratitude. This is my favorite thing to do. It's the name of my podcast and my business. And I dream of a world where everyone simply chooses to wake up with gratitude. Day two is text three people a message of heartfelt gratitude. Day three is how do we express gratitude for our body? And I have a four level way to do this. Day four is send a note of gratitude. Day five is is ending your day with gratitude. On day six, let's go for a gratitude walk. On day seven, we're sharing our gratitude on social media. Day eight is creatively expressing your gratitude. On day nine, we're going to rest in gratitude. Day 10 is using affirmations of gratitude. Day 11 was on Remembrance Day. Day 12 is decluttering to help us be more grateful. Day 13 is expressing gratitude for those you share a home with. On day 14, we share our gratitude for our favorite musician or band. And on day 15, halfway through, I talk about can we be grateful when we're grieving? Remember, there are a lot of different suggestions and ways to practice gratitude during this 30-day challenge. And the idea is not to do them all, but to find the ones that resonate with you and keep doing them. Some of these things you may only do one time, and that's okay. And there are others, like choosing to wake up with gratitude, that can be done every morning for the rest of your life. On day 16, I ask, are you taking access to clean drinking water for granted? And on day 17, we talk about how to use our senses to be more grateful. I share my favorite gratitude books and podcasts on day 18. And on day 19, We learn how to share our gratitude for a teacher or mentor. Two-thirds of the way through this challenge, I invited you to do 10 minutes of gratitude at home. 
This one's really simple. It's setting a timer for 10 minutes and walking around one room in your house, naming everything you're grateful for and why. On day 21, I talk about using the law of attraction to manifest with gratitude. There's a lot of great stories in this one. As we approach the Thanksgiving holiday on day 22, we talk about can we be grateful when we're traveling during the holidays. The next two episodes deal with Thanksgiving. So on day 23, what are ways to be grateful before Thanksgiving? And in this episode, I focus on taking note of the abundance of food and other things in your life as this big holiday approaches. On day 24, Thanksgiving Day in the U.S. this year, I talk about how do you share your gratitude on Thanksgiving. The following day is Black Friday, and on day 25, I invite you to focus on gratitude on Black Friday. For day 26, I share many ways to express your gratitude at the dinner table. This is a practice you can do any time of the year and not only at Thanksgiving. If you're having trouble sleeping, you'll want to check out day 27. How does gratitude help you sleep? And on day 28, I challenge you to find what's something you're grateful for about the pandemic. And for yesterday's episode on day 29, I ask you, who are you grateful for in your work environment? The most important message from these past 30 days that I can share with you is that there are endless ways to practice gratitude. If you've tried something and it's not working, pick something else. We will never run out of ways to express our gratitude. I've been doing these practices for more than a decade myself, and I'm always discovering new ways to practice gratitude. It's also why I love having guests to interview on the podcast because they're teaching me new ways to practice gratitude as well. Or they're reminding me of practices that I may have forgotten and I will start doing it again. My own gratitude practice is always changing. The things that stay constant for me is choosing to wake up with gratitude and saying my morning mantra, which is thank you for this gift of another day and the opportunity to be of service to others and to make a difference in this world. I've created a small survey for you to fill out if you've listened to any part of this 30-day challenge. I'll put the link in the show notes, and I'd love for you to check it out and share with me your feedback on this gratitude experience. Thanks for being here, friends, and I'll see you tomorrow with a full-length interview with Terry Kerr of the Unstuck Duck Coaching.